Hello everyone, Dynamite Gaming here, and I'm sure some of you have seen the videos on what could be the upcoming Nintendo Switch, as it looks like another dual screen console that can be split in half, with also some hints at some backward compatibility. And although I'm really excited to see how this new system kind of looks like the Ultimate 3DS, I, I'm hoping it's still partially a home console and not a uh, full-on handheld console as I prefer to play my switch games on my TV or my monitor But I wanted to spend today talking about what I think could be the next debut title the big upcoming title to sell the switch to now I'm well aware that we just got tears of the kingdom in 2023 and obviously I'm aware about 10 years ago We got a 3ds game called the link between worlds, which I've been playing right now and I'm hopefully gonna be able to finish for the first time. So we've seen a lot of styles that go between the cell shaded Wind Waker graphics and also the new style uh, Zelda graphics. But I was hoping that we would be able to see something closer to Twilight Princess, kind of the darker uh, side of the Zelda series with, with dungeons returning. And I think that would be a title that no one would see coming even though they just dropped the Zelda game last year, imagine if they were working on a new Zelda game completely meant for the new console. It would obviously sell like hotcakes. It's probably their largest series Nintendo has outside of Pokemon. I mean, it would just be amazing. What an idea for a first game that would be. Continuing on my most obvious choices, we have not seen a 3D Mario game, if you can believe this, a, a actual like main title since 2017 Super Mario Odyssey is already seven years old it's hard to believe that man it feels like this game just came out to be honest but no it's seven years old and I can happily say this is another game I did complete and I loved every second of it and I would not be upset if the brand new title released is another 3D Mario game. Super Mario Wonder was fantastic, but man, do we need another 3D Mario. That is the one, those are the games we're all, I think, looking forward to. So if they dropped a new one on us like that, I'd be really, really happy. And I think, once again, it makes a lot of sense. So that would be great for the new system coming out. The next game, which I didn't even think of, I gotta give credit to my wife here. She mentioned Animal Crossing, and I went, whoa, you know what, you're right. During COVID, this series has now officially blown up into my opinion, top five Nintendo IP status. I mean, my goodness, the amount of people that were playing this game during the pandemic, myself and my wife included, was absolutely tremendous. All of my friends had the game that had Switches. And to be fair, it was a really, really nice escape from everything terrible going on in the world. I would have to tell you guys, this would probably be my most anticipated title if they dropped a new Animal Crossing on us for the new console as the debut title. The debut big title, I should say. Because obviously they're probably going to drop multiple games, but man, trust me, New Horizons was really, really good. And I think with the popularity of it, Nintendo saw... Hmm, if we take what we've done here and expand on it even more, maybe bring you back as the mayor in a village, give you access to all these new features, turn it into an adventure mode. I could go on for hours of all the things they could add to a new Animal Crossing, but the system they have in place is fantastic, and I think adding to it would be an immediate bestseller in the series and of all time if they dropped it as a debut title for the new Nintendo Switch or whatever system they're going to call it. But yeah, I, I love New Horizons. I hope Animal Crossing, despite if it's the debut title or not, I hope a new game is on the horizon. Now, now granted, it would be impossible not to mention Pokemon up here for a debut title. We saw what they did with Legends Arceus. Honestly, out of every Pokemon game I've played in the last 10 to 15 years, and there's been a decent amount, I haven't played all of them, but Legends Arceus was really, really unique. And although I did it, it didn't blow me away, I think if this is the direction they're heading for the Pokemon series, we, we can see a lot of crazy stuff coming. And I think with the, the style of the new Switch that I saw, or at least the patents that were put in, it, it would make a lot of sense if, if this was the the next game they were planning for. I think there's a lot they could do 
in the po in the realm of Pokemon, whether that's actual battling now with your Pokemon, where you have control over all the moves, and it's 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 basically Arceus 2. I feel like that would be a really good idea of a way to sell a new console. Hey, this is the new Pokemon. You know, it is the largest IP, you know, Nintendo has, so... Or I should say best-selling, you know. I mean, that's why they drop a game every year. So, it, honestly, it would not be surprising if they had Arceus as what was more of like an alpha and beta and a full title, whether that's Arceus 2 or it's a new name, of all the mechanics refined into a brand new, incredible piece of a, you know, Pokemon game. I, I, I considered Arceus more of like a beta to what the future would hold for Pokemon, and this game still got raving reviews, so I can only imagine how Pokemon would be with brand new state-of-the-art graphics and new gameplay enhancements. So yeah, that would be an exciting title to drop. And last but not least, I think it would make too much sense for Star Fox to return in 2024. We haven't seen a 3D adventure game in a long time. I know a game was released in 2017. We haven't seen anything like Star Fox Adventures in a really long time. I think bringing back this series into the next generation of gamers' hands would be a big deal. It's just, it's a, it's a missed opportunity here for Nintendo if they don't bring him in for the new console and basically some sort of a sequel to Star Fox Adventures. That game really doesn't get enough uh, appreciation. So, let me know what you guys think regarding the debut title for the next Nintendo console. I think I gave five very realistic answers, but maybe there's something I'm missing. Let me know in the comments, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.